Welcome again in Pharmascope there is a small question wait. You've got a headache. You walk into the pharmacy. You reach for something. But then you pose, Panadol or aspirin. Which one do you grab? And more importantly, why? Most people don't actually know the difference. And today, we're going to change that. This isn't just about painkillers, it's about what you put in your body, and how it affects your brain, your heart, and even your liver. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll never look at these two meds the same way again. Let's start from the beginning. Panadol is just a brand name. The actual drug inside. Paracetamol or acetaminophen, as it's called in the US. Aspirin, on the other hand, is acetyl salicylic acid quite a mouthful, huh? But trust me, the names aren't what matter, it's what they do. Here is the first question for you. Which of these two drugs do you think is safer for long term? Use, keep thinking about that as we dig deeper. Now, how do they actually work? Paracetamol mainly works in your brain. It blocks certain enzymes that signal pain and fever, but it doesn't really touch inflammation. That's why it's great for headaches, fevers, and general aches, but not so great if you've got swelling or joint pain, aspirin. This one's a bit of a beast. It works throughout the body, blocking enzymes everywhere and that means it helps with pain, fever, and inflammation. So if you sprain your ankle or have arthritis, aspirin might be more effective. So here is your pop quiz, if you just twisted your ankle at the gym, which one do you think will help more? Panadol or aspirin? Comment below, I want to see what you think. Let's talk benefits. Panadol is kind to the stomach, it's safe in pregnancy, and it doesn't thin your blood. Aspirin, on the other hand, is amazing at reducing inflammation, and in low doses. It can even help prevent heart attacks. That's right, this painkiller can save lives. But, there's a catch. Aspirin can be harsh on your stomach. It can cause ulcers, and in high doses or over time, it increases the risk of internal bleeding. That's why doctors are now more cautious about recommending daily aspirin even for heart protection. But don't be fooled into thinking Panadol is harmless either. Overdosing on paracetamol is one of the leading causes of acute liver failure. And the worst part, the symptoms can take hours, sometimes days to show up. You might feel fine, until your liver is in serious trouble. Now here is something that shocks most people, never give aspirin to a child with a fever. Why? Because of a rare but dangerous condition called Ray's syndrome. It affects the liver and brain, and it can be fatal. That's why Panadol is the go-to for children. So now I'll ask you, which organ does Panadol damage an overdose, and which one does aspirin irritate? Think you got it right? Drop your answers in the comments. Let's get practical. If you're treating a kid go with Panadol. If you're pregnant also Panadol. If you're older and at risk of heart issues your doctor might recommend low-dose aspirin. But if you're dealing with muscle inflammation, joint pain, or swelling, Aspirin might be your better option, as long as your stomach can handle it. Oh and did you know, in some cases, you can take both Panadol and Aspirin together. But only under medical supervision. Don't try mixing medications without knowing what you're doing. Alright, let's bust some myths. Panadol is totally safe, not if you take too much. Aspirin is just for pain, no. Nope. It's also a blood thinner. You can give aspirin to kids, absolutely not. So what's the takeaway? It's not about which one is better. It's about using the right tool for the right job. Know your body. Know the risks. And always, always talk to your pharmacist or doctor before popping pills like candy. Quick poll before we go have you ever taken Panadol thinking it was totally harmless? Drop emoji if this video taught you something new. Thanks for watching.